So, every so often in this world of Silicon Valley, where new startups come across the website, the blogosphere, every single day, there is one that stands out from the rest that can challenge sites so large as Google and capture the public imagination. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce Dr. Scott Rubo coming to us to deliver the one of the very first demos of PowerSet to be seen on this mortal earth. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Scott Kirk, I'm the Director of Product at PowerSet, and I'm really delighted to be here, and uh, on behalf of me and the other PowerSet people who are here, I'd like to thank Christian for hosting this great event. Um, so today I want to actually just uh, talk to you a little bit about what PowerSet does, and about natural language search, and then uh, show you a little demo of our technology. So of course, you know, the first thing that people say to me when they hear that we're doing search is, Hasn't Google already solved that problem? And, and you know, sure, keyword search works pretty well if you're doing certain kinds of things. You know, if you want to find information uh, based by popularity, it's great. If you want to look for information that other people are commonly searching for, it's great. If you know the exact words that you're looking for, keyword search does just the right thing. And if you're willing to try query after query after query uh, to find what you're looking for and then sort through the results, then keyword search does a pretty good job. But at PowerSet, uh, we think search can be a lot more than that. We think that there's things that you can do with search that people haven't even imagined yet. Like, what if you didn't have to imagine all the ways that something might be written in the documents that you're trying to search? What if you could get answers directly on the search page instead of having to sort through all the results to try to figure out where your answer is? These are the kinds of things that PowerSet is working on. And so, so why natural language search? Why is this the approach that's going to change the way we look for information on the web? Well, there's a few reasons. The structure of language actually matters in the documents that you're searching. If you're looking for the companies that PeopleSoft acquired, that's different than looking for the company that acquired PeopleSoft. But to a keyword search engine, these searches look pretty much identical. They don't make that kind of distinction. The little words can matter. If you're looking for politicians elected in 2001, the word in actually means something, and Google throws it out, right? And, and the word in is different from the word before and the word after. These are important words uh, that we throw away in keyword search. So PowerSet is about understanding the power of those kinds of words. The variation in how things are worded matters. What if you wanted to look through a set of documents and find everything that Al Gore reportedly said. Well, you'd have to actually do a search using keywords that looked for the word said, and told, and quoted as saying, and claimed, and announced, and argued, and you'd go on and on and on and on and create this monstrous advanced keyword search query, uh, and we just know that people don't even do that kind of thing. It's really hard to get this kind of information. And abstractions matter. What if your search engine actually knew when you mentioned athletes that uh, you were actually looking for baseball players and football players and Olympic athletes and specific athletes by name? Uh, what if your search engine just knew that? What if your search engine knew that the proximity of words isn't always an indicator of how well they're connected in meaning? What if it knew that the question, what did Benjamin Franklin invent, is answered by a query where Benjamin Franklin and invent are nowhere near each other in the sentence? These are the kinds of things that PowerSet is working on. And so really, we address all of these issues, and the way we do it is very different from keyword search. We actually read every sentence on the pages that we index and extract meaning from those sentences. And then at query time, we look at the meaning of the query and we, we match the meaning of the query to the meaning of the sentences in the index, which is very different from what keyword search engines do. And so with that, I'd like to uh, switch gears a little bit and do a little demo. So let's uh, start with that first example that I mentioned. Who acquired PeopleSoft? Um, this is an index uh, built just on Wikipedia, about 2 million pages uh, from Wikipedia. 
And whenever I show you comparisons with Google, I'll be restricting Google to Wikipedia as well so that it's a fair apples to apples comparison. So I took who acquired PeopleSoft and PowerSet found five sentences in Wikipedia that explicitly mention Oracle acquiring PeopleSoft. And something else you might notice here is that in some cases we're actually able to put in bold uh, the words Oracle Corporation, which is the answer to your question. You know, when a keyword engine uh, highlights words in the snippets, they highlight the words that you type in the query, not the words that you're looking for. Um, and you also notice that there's a great deal of variation in the, the, the way the sentences are worded that we found in Wikipedia. If you look at the first two examples, they both talk about acquiring PeopleSoft. Well, that's pretty close to what we put in the query. Uh, but if you look at the third example, it talks about the acquisition of PeopleSoft. And the fourth example says that PeopleSoft was bought over by Oracle, which is a totally different way of saying the same thing. The last example mentions the purchase of PeopleSoft by Oracle. And the reason we can find these kinds of matches is because we're doing the, uh, the, the meaning to meaning match. I'm going to just sneak in uh, the Google results here. If you notice, for the same query, the first result that Google finds is actually about PeopleSoft acquiring a company. So they got it exactly backwards of, of what I wanted. So now let's switch that around. see who PeopleSoft acquired. And here, notice that PowerSet returns a completely different set of results. And that's because we've asked a completely different question. And again, we're able to highlight the answer in some cases. In, in the first example, we identified Cohera as a name of a company that PeopleSoft acquired. Notice also in that first example that it says that Cohera was sold to PeopleSoft. And so we actually understand things like buy and sell have an inverse relationship and, and, and can use that when we're doing this meaning to meaning match. Uh, notice in the second example, uh, the word it, it was sold to PeopleSoft and we know that it uh, refers to Cohera because of this deep reading of the documents that we've done at index time. So now again, let's, uh, let's look at what Google does. This time Google shows the result for Oracle, which again is the opposite of, of what we asked for. And it's because Google's just using notions of popularity and, and uh, keyword presence in these pages. 